Hi everybody, my name is Kate Beadle. I work for State Farm Insurance Company and have been part of this great organization for 23 years. I live and work in Central Virginia and part of my job is to provide grant funds to nonprofits in the state of Virginia. One of those awesome organizations is Junior Achievement. They've asked me to talk to you today about soft skills. You might be wondering what is that and why is that important to me? Uh, soft skills are the tools that you use every day when you interact with your friends, your family, people in your community, and your teachers. It is going to be some things for you to work on and use later in life and when you get your first job. So when I first started working for State Farm, I worked in a call center and helped customers with their insurance claims. I worked in a cubicle right next to a bunch of other people. And so I got to hear a lot of great phone conversations and some not so great conversations. So I wanted to share a couple of tips for you as you uh, think about how you want to interact with others. First, when you are answering the phone, Give customers your name so that you take ownership of the phone call and be sure to ask them what their name is and try to use it during the conversation that really helps personalize things. Be sure you listen to the customer. Find out what it is that they need, um, what they're concerned about, because you're better able to help them if you know what it is that they're looking for. And also, you don't have to ask them to repeat information later in the call. If the customer is unhappy, and that will happen, just apologize and take ownership of it, even if it wasn't your fault, and figure out how to fix it and make that customer happy again or right the situation. Please do not chew gum or eat while on the phone with the customer. They can hear you. Now, prior to the pandemic, my um, current job, I got to work with people face to face. And so there's a couple other things that I wanted to offer for when you're working with people in person. First, learn how to give a good handshake. Be sure you do that when you meet new people. Don't do it during COVID, but it's something for you to practice for later. Second, make sure you're looking people in the eye when you talk to them. And it tells them that you're listening and that you care about their perspectives. Third, put your phone down. Make sure that you are turning off your ringer and giving your customer their full attention. And lastly, be sure you follow up on things that you promise that you'll give the customer or things that you'll follow up on. Um, make sure that you know, you're seeing those things through. You're going to have a lot of time to practice these skills. And in summary, I just want to share that you know, what I'm really trying to get through today is for you to be respectful, be honest, and be helpful. Know that all of your actions and words are part of your personal brand, so treat them really carefully. Thank you, and I wish you all the very best.